session. Scott O. Quantum Marin recently released some quite sensational claims about six trace elements being important for preventing or stopping RTN, especially the presence of fluoride, bromide, and iodide. They provided no evidence but word of mouth. They own a coral form and seem to be respected. What do we do in the scenario? How much do we squint? You, you always squint. Hard. I mean, squinting never really stops. Yeah. It, and it's just, it's the problem I have. I, I, I know Fauna Marin. I mean, they've been around forever. Well-respected company. Um, I mean, who am I to, to assay? But I mean, it shouldn't really be like that. Who am I? It, that's, that's irrelevant of a claim being made. You either provide the data or you don't. Yeah, I think that's right. We squint really hard until we have information. If they presented no information to support the claim, it's just a claim. There's no reason to believe it. And it's just anecdote. And and if I was really, you know, having an issue with that and tried their method, and, and that's cool. And then I could run around saying like, it worked and blah, blah, blah. But I mean, at the end of the day, we we, we really want data. If they provided no information, and we, we it's not really data. We want to know what their evidence is, right? I've been harping on this for a year or two now the difference between data and evidence. Evidence could be anything. Anecdotal evidence is useful. It's, it's always depending on if it's compelling or not. But hey, I've got a coral farm and these elements stop RTN. I need, I need something more than that. I you mean, know, uh, how, you know, how did it stop the RTN? How quickly did it stop the RTN? Did it stop the, what percentage of cases did it stop the RTN? What else was being done? You know, I need, you know, it, uh, otherwise it's just add these things because I say so. So well, yeah, we, and it just sounds weird. Like, you know, we added, we added silica and we added vanadium and we added molybdenum and we added this and all of a sudden RTN stopped. So it's like, how do you, and I'm, I'm just pulling these out of my butt. These aren't cl their claim things or anything I've seen, but like, you know, when you're doing that, like, how do you know, was it, was it the silica or not? Or could you remove it yeah. from that equation? Or what does it do? What are the pathways? Or why would it help? And like the molybdenum or the vanadium or yeah. iron, you know. The, but the, the real answer to this is we squint really hard until they give us some evidence that we can review. Otherwise, we got, we got nothing. You know, it's like UVB might be helpful. You got to show some evidence that it actually is. Some or some reasoning behind why you think it is um, that we find compelling. So uh, I, I think it's ignorable because I, I don't even know what they mean by stopping RTN. Here's the problem too. You know, you know, a good way to screw up your reef tank is just tilt at every windmill that everyone offers you. Yeah. And well, then and then you're like, what's wrong with my tank? And you know, and you you're just using every method and every this and throwing stuff in and then taking it out. And then it's not a stable environment. Yeah. Now I, so they, you got a coral farm and you produce good corals. So I want to listen to you, right? Cause you have a good result, but I don't know what they mean by stopping RTN. Did they stop at RTN in their coral farm? Did they stop art? You know, did they see customers who are using their testing? report that rtn has stopped um so there's there's just there there's really no information here except somebody you might respect said it so you know but this is this isn't like you know you don't really need filter socks this is very specific um and it's very specific about which so I, I want to see. I want to see the evidence. What evidence are they presenting? Uh, without that, I've got no real comment. It's 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 just like any other. But that's what, so. Evidence. What if what if Craig Bingman came to you and I and said, if you add ten milliliters of potassium per a hundred gallons, it's going to achieve this effect. I would say, tell me more. Tell me the. Tell me the evidence. How does it work? And what then he doing? would say, I can't tell you that it's proprietary information. I would say, all right, well, show me the amount of individual studies where it's worked, the case studies. And then typical to 
industry fashion, he would say, well, we're working on that and it will become available when we are done. Well, then we'll talk more about this when that happens, because now we're just talking mind stories and we're debating stuff. This is squarely red car in the parking lot stuff, right? We don't need to mind story ourselves and talk about, is there a red car in the parking lot? And what are the, 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 you know, the, the, the probabilities that there's a red car and how many red cars and where it would be parked. We can just go fucking look at the parking lot. Yeah. Right. And so it's the same thing here. There's no reason to debate whether fluorine, bromine, or iodine might or might not have anything to do with RTN. The claim is that they do something. So show us. Show us it's any study. Show uh, here's a tank that had RTN. We adjusted these in the RTM. The RTM went into remission. Great. Yeah. Now show me that several more times when nothing else has been happening. And that makes some sense, maybe. And but then the more, I mean, this that's just like science. The more, the more facilities unrelated to them on the other side of the content continent that would would match that same thing and it's reproducible, the more of that that happens, the more I'm like, oh well, yeah, that's a thing. Because yeah. they did it over here. They did it over here. How many times has this been replicated? So yeah. then the next thing is, if they have that data, that 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 evidence that it does do, it seems to do something, well, then we need to try it over somewhere else. I need to try it. Somebody with RTN needs to try it and see if it works. That's all. I That's mean, it. we don't, I, I, why am I harping on it? In my head, at least. It's because I, I think we, I I don't want to be mad at Fon and Arin. You know, I don't want to be mad at anybody who's coming up with a story like this. So I can just go, well, I, I can't wait to see the evidence. Otherwise, what is, what we're just talking people... about red cars and we could go look if there's a red car. And if we can't look if there's a red car, why are we mentally masturbating about is there or is there not a red car? Yeah.